Hey everybody, Mike here and welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to be doing a little experiment. We're going to see if we can transfer heat inside in a very safe manner, but more importantly, completely free, right? How's that going to work? Well, let me tell you a little story. When I was a little kid, people were very frugal about energy. Energy was super expensive and people didn't have a lot of money to burn, no pun intended, right? Now, uh, fast forward uh, 2022, and as you can see, energy is again extremely expensive. Now, back in the day when I was a kid, what people would do is they would fill up uh, stone or metal jugs with hot water, and they would use that to heat up the bed or whatnot, and they've been doing that for centuries, right? But one thing they also did is they would fill it up with filtered sand, so really fine sand. For the simple reason that sand contains heat for a very long time and it gets very very hot i mean imagine walking on the beach barefoot right it's scorching so that's what i'm going to do today now i'm going to keep it simple i just got a simple paint can i'm going to fill it with sand i'm going to heat it up see how hot it will get and how long it will retain that heat right but keep in mind before you say hey that's not going to heat up a room Keep in mind that you can scale this up to a bigger size, you can use different containers, thicker walled metal, you can use stone if you want. You can experiment with that all you like, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let me set things up and then we'll get going. Here we go. Alright guys, well I've got my hot plate, I've got my paint can. Just going to quickly drill a hole in that. Actually let's fill it up with sand first, alright? So I've got some sand down here. And as you can see, and I'll just show you, it's just plain sand, right? So we're just going to fill that up. And as you can see, nothing to it. Just now I'm going to drill a hole in the lid here because the air in the can will become superheated and expand, obviously. And I don't want things to get dangerous, right? So let me drill a hole quickly. <clears throat> That's all there's to it, should be fine. All right, so we're gonna put the lid on nice and tight, knock it in there. And we're going to put it on the hot plate. Okay. Uh, I'll be back when it's hot. Okay, guys. It's been about 20 minutes. So let's do a, an update measurement quickly. So in Fahrenheit, let's put it down here. Give it some time. Oh, that's actually Celsius. Hang on. 165 or so and 170 let's see if this will go up I'm just gonna hold it in place there for a minute it heavily depends on where you point it 170 something like that right Stays fairly steady around 170. Okay. We'll uh, try again in about 30 minutes. Hey guys, it's been about an hour since it was off the plate. So uh, let's have a look and see whether it's still warm. Okay. Let's make sure we're measuring in Fahrenheit here. 141. 141 and in Celsius that would be 66 67 and again guys it's a 15 minute test right okay so that's an hour in that's uh, not bad actually and I don't know if this is a factor or not well actually I do know it's a factor the shed that I'm in right now is quite cold it's about five degrees Celsius right so that must have an impact on the overall heat. But nevertheless, it's an interesting experiment. 
Okay, so I'm going to do one more test when it's two hours in, and let's see how much heat is still there, okay? Alrighty guys, two hours since it was off the plate. I can touch the top. It's still quite warm, actually. It's too warm to keep my hands on, on the side anyway. So let's have a measurement. Here we go. So let's make sure it's in Fahrenheit. There we go. That's Celsius. That's Fahrenheit. Two hours in. 136. That is pretty consistent, actually. So it seems that it doesn't necessarily get very, very hot, but it stays warm for a long time. And it's actually climbing a little bit. 140. Kind of neat. Okay, well, why not, guys? We're going to do one more. I'm going to be back in an hour. That will be three hours in. And once again, keep in mind, we've been measuring or uh, heating for 15 minutes, right? Here we go. Okay, guys, well, third and final uh, measurement. Uh, three hours since it was on the hot plate, and it's been on there for about 15 minutes. So uh, let's see what the reading is. Okay, here we go. So turn it on. Let's make sure we're in Fahrenheit here. 130, 130 still, 129, 130. That's actually above expectation. Let me see what that is in Celsius. 52 degrees. Um, I have to say that I'm actually quite pleased with this result. Because I already know that I can do a whole bunch of improvements on this. I can uh, make it bigger. I can make more than one. Uh, I can uh, definitely uh, make some modifications so it will uh, radiate heat easier. Maybe a thicker wall uh, on the can. Maybe a metal tube, something like that. And I can definitely put something on top, like um, heating fans, if you will, that will help um, distribute that heat, right? So as far as I'm concerned, this is a successful test, and uh, if you get really creative with this and you have some great ideas how to improve on it, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, of, as always, please hit that like button, and as this uh, channel is brand new, I would really appreciate a subscription. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.